Hey guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to make another video because a lot of people are kind of in the dark on how to sex a tarantula. So, hopefully with this video you can be able to actually sex your tea. So, as I stressed in many of my videos, um, my molting videos essentially, whenever you try to sex a tarantula you have to have its ventral shot and its molt. You can't just look at a tea and say whether or not it's female because it has a fat abdomen or it has shorter legs because it can disappoint you and uh, if you guys remember I used to have an old bee Amelia uh, that I had two years ago I thought it was very female until it molted into a mature male same story goes with that uh, mature blondie uh, that uh, kind of surprised me so um, I guess we could look at some teas and uh, we can see uh, where to look for okay uh, well as you know Dan uh, no, Lawrence, this is my LP. Uh, he's a male. And now I know this one's a male. Uh, this is um, Dan. Now, <laughs> this is the one I named Mirabelle. Uh, this is another LP. And I don't know what you guys think, but uh, it looks like another male. But darn it, this is my third LP, and uh, all three of them are males. What shitty luck. Okay, but this is how you can tell a male from a female. You notice that the first pair of book lungs, which are the top part, if I just uh, check right here and right here, you'll see them much more closer apart, and uh, you don't see any spermatheci. You'll see like a little U shape. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. It, I think it is a male, like 80% sure now, but uh, it is going to be molting soon, so hopefully I could try to look at its molt and maybe uh, I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, so now we'll go on to my Brachypalma smithy. Mexican Redney, and you can see the big difference uh, between the uh, LP. You'll notice that the top book lungs you see number one and two on the top and this presence is this little slit and uh, it should be quite obvious right in the center so this is your sperm sac so uh, this is a female so sometimes in slings or little juvies it may or may not be that obvious so this is why you have to sex their molts so I'll give uh, two examples right here uh, this is my uh, Grandma Solo Pull Stripes, Chaco Goldney. This is Charlotte. Um, this is her old molt. And uh, this is Scarlet's molt, my B. Smithy, uh, that I uh, found in my many molts. You can see all the molts here. Yeah, that white ball there, that's a Navicularia egg sac. When I went to Tarantula Canada, Amanda was nice enough to uh, give me the uh, little egg sac. That was pretty cool. So I have T. Blondie, G. Pulchra. Here's that mature male P. Formosa that I had. I have Ruby's Old Skin. I've got a lot of them in here. B. Vagans, B. Bomi. <laughs> Give an idea of how large Pulchra fangs are. I'll show you Ebony's Old Molt. Yeah, check these out. May or may not come clear on camera, but... These are like near T blondie size fangs, so you gotta watch out when you're handling these. Amazing. Alright, so now we'll just examine just two molts just to give you an idea of how to sex a molt. So uh, let me open this and you'll see it. Okay, so let's examine Charlotte's molt. This is, um, well, of course, you know who Charlotte is. So this is your abdomen. So you, you must try to get an intact molt. And if you look very closely, I'll zoom in as the best as I can, you can note that little flap right there, so which indicates it's a female. Now if you go look at my B. Smithy, same thing. You notice that it has a little flap. I can just zoom in, come on, there we go. And it should be quite visible. 
And here's another example. This is uh, Acanthoscuria brocklehursti, the giant white bandit that molted a few weeks ago. Again, you notice that little slit in there. And here another one, my T. blondie molt. This is uh, Gretel, a uh, mature female T. blondie. You can see that flap there. So this is an idea of um, what female tarantulas look like, and uh, that's how you try to sex them from their molt. As kind of an eventual shot, you'll notice that in most cases they'll have uh, spread apart on their first pair of book lungs, and you have that little slit, which is your spermatheci, and that's where your and that's where the flap is. All right, so mature male. Oh, it's kind of hard because I don't have that many. Uh, hang on. And in my lot of uh, tea skins, I only have one intact molt. So this is, um, well, Hans's molt, a mature male tea blondie. And you notice a big difference. There is no flap. So, which indicates that is a male. So, if you want to compare side by side, Hans and Gretel, they were probably around the same size. Well, Gretel's a bit smaller. See? No flap. And flap. So guys, hopefully by this uh, video you can probably sex your tarantula with uh, no problem from their molt or by their ventral shot. Alright guys, see you later.